So this truck has about 220,000 miles on it and I have been doing my oil change intervals somewhere between eight and 12,000 miles. I've been experimenting with two different brands, uh, Amsoil Signature Series, Shell Rotella. But when I first bought the truck, it had the Ford Motocraft Synthetic uh, 10W30, and then I also ran Motocraft 5W40. I also ran Amsoil OE before running Signature Series, and now it has Rotella. And so, you know, between having the extended drain intervals and running different types of oil, I always get all kinds of comments of people being like, you're gonna cause sludge in your engine. And on top of that, you know, we have all these people add in these pans, these lower oil pans, because they think they need to drain that oil out and they think that having the drain plug here is a flaw. And I mean, I am absolutely blown away by how clean this is. Like it is, it's like, there's nothing in there. Everybody says it's gonna be slug, right? Oh yeah, I used uh, three different brands of oil, two different weights, all kind of stuff. You know the truth? It's a lot of no sludge. That is a lot of no sludge. Wow. That's just oil. It's just oil. What about like, what's, I guess we should pour it out and see if there's any stuck in the bottom, just in case anybody has anything to say. That's crazy. Wow, the bottom of that is clean. <laughs> I just really don't know what to say, you know, because I even believe some of the hype out there of like, oh, you need to get a, you know, an oil pan upgrade with a drain plug in the bottom so you get sludge, you know, to prevent that. And I mean, there's nothing here. I would just keep running the OEM pan. I mean, I don't know what you, what do you think? What I think is send your oil off for analysis. You know what I mean? It'll tell you if your oil is still good for use or not. And I'm not telling you to go 10,000 miles. What I'm telling you is go your 5,000 miles, send it off for analysis, and if it's good, then you can go. Right, this man right here knows. You know, at the end of the day, if you don't want to run longer drain intervals, that's fine. You don't have to, but you'll save yourself some money, and you'll it'll keep you from just dumping out perfectly good oil. Not only that, it'll also tell you if you're starting to have an internal engine problem, if you've got coolant leaking inside. Right. If you go on coolant all the time, and it's not leaking externally. If you've got glycol in your oil sample, you probably have something going on. If you've got high fuel dilution, you may have a leaking injector. So it doesn't just tell you how far you can go on oil. It also tells you if there's an internal engine problem going on as well. Right. So it's a really good thing to have. Um, it Spend the 60 bucks or whatever and get an oil analysis done for peace of mind. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's probably the best 60 bucks I ever spent. I do oil analysis all the time. Plus I've been testing oil for you guys. but. Yeah. yeah, it's it's been a day, hasn't it? Yeah, a day, <laughs> a day. A so yeah, no, I mean it's it, it was surprising for sure to see that, but cool to get it off. We have to, you know, Bearded Vortex resealing my upper oil pan because it's leaking. So we thought this would be a good time and opportunity to pull the pan off and actually see what these extended oil change intervals would do on a you know truck with two hundred and twenty thousand miles. And if you're doing the analysis, the analysis isn't lying. Like you can see it with your own eyes. So there are two conclusions you can draw from this video. Well, really three. So number one is that running different types of oil and different weights, as long as they're, you know, the OEM recommendation and right for your engine, they are not going to cause sludge. Number two, running extended drain intervals, if that's what your oil analysis is telling you, are fine. The oil analysis is accurate. These companies are not out there trying to Shanghai you and, you know, give you inaccurate results. Like that is, that, that pan is spotless. And number three, based on seeing that, I also don't think I need to go out and buy a PPE pan to drain all the oil out of the bottom because it's perfectly good oil that's in there. So, you know, at the end of the day, these are my conclusions. Definitely let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and be sure to subscribe both to Bearded Ford Tech and myself, Power Stroke Maintenance, and we'll see you next time on the channel. Cheers.